Hello everybody, this is Chris Nelson with Go Engineer, and in today's video we will be learning how to automate the creation of drawings using the task scheduler in SOLIDWORKS. So I have the task scheduler right here in this screen, and it has a create drawings function where we can give it a title and we need to input a drawing template and then select our folders. But to create that template, go back to SOLIDWORKS right here and create a new drawing. Once we have created this new drawing, we need to create a drawing template with predefined views. And in order to do that, we will just use the basic setup for drawings right here. Um, exit out of model view, and then go up to insert drawing view, and then click predefined view. Now this will pay, place a view wherever you would like. And right now it is set to put a front view in this spot right here. Once we are happy with that, click the green check mark, then go back to insert and add a projected view. This takes the main view that we've already used and base a new view off of it. If we go up, it gives a top view. If we go to the right, it gives a right view. And if we go in this diagonal direction like this, it gives us an isometric view. Now, once you're happy with the placement of your projected views, what happens is if we load a new part file inside of this document, it will place a front view right here, top view right here, right view right here, and isometric view right here. Next, we want to save this. Going to File Save As, we have the option right here to save this file as a drawing template. And I have a folder called Tutorial for the sake of this video, and I'm going to save it there and call this video template. Now that we have saved this template, we are able to proceed with the task scheduler. Go back to the task scheduler and click the create drawing option. We have to give a title, so I'm going to call it video drawings. Then input a drawing template with predefined views. I can open that. Next, we want to include a folder of our files. So right here, I have these part files right here. They're just some basic parts. And if we go back to drawings, you can see the folder is currently empty. Now I'll exit out of this, and by clicking Add Folder, we can navigate back to this folder and select it. We have the task schedule options right here so we can make this a process that runs at a specific time or we can have it repeat once possibly daily weekly or monthly and then we tell the program where we want the output folder to go we can keep it in the same folder but i've created another folder for this so going back we have this folder drawings right here and if you remember this folder was empty earlier so i click select folder and then finish It's going to take a second for all the drawings to be created. You can see it's starting to run in the top left corner, but I will come back once it is finished. Okay, our video drawings task has now finished. You can see right here the status is completed. And if we tab over to the drawings folder, you can see that we have a drawings file for each of the parts. And if we double click one of the parts, like this one, it will just open up in SOLIDWORKS. And we can see this is the mil2 axe 9 file and that we have a front view, a top view, a right view, and an isometric view. Similar drawings of each part have been generated, and don't forget that you can create any type of drawing template that you would like. I hope you found the SOLIDWORKS tutorial video useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SOLIDWORKS, enroll in one of our online training courses at GoEngineer.